brother in the interview, in the interview, I think it was, oh, I think I called him Mark. His name is actually David Ortiz. I got to update that. Um, David Ortiz, Ortiz, uh, he says it in a particular way. I hope I'm not mispronouncing it, but he interviewed the Reverend Child Dress, um, who has the site blackgenocide.org, and they put together the movie or the documentary um, Ma'afa. They put together the Ma'afa um, documentary, right? And um, it was talking about the black uh, genocide, abortion, and um, even it was interesting the numbers and the percentage that a people need to have a minimum amount of births in order to replenish that number. And the way it's at right now, it's like the black people's um, number is going to be very, very low because of all the numbers of, I think it's like 50, over 50-something percent of the babies um, in the black community are aborted. And we know, you know, now we know that what's behind it, this whole eugenics, this whole um, white supremacist um, um, kind of uh, doctrine that even we find out now, and a lot of white people find out, don't even include white folks. It just kind of use white folks, you know, the whole divide and conquer thing, you know, and it's for an exclusive set of bunch of inbreds, right, a bunch of vile inbreds. They are the ones, right, who is really for. That's why they have this whole um, malice of forethought, you know, to reduce population and using various overlapping kind of means and strategies. But this year... Um, 2013 is a jubilee year. Mm -hmm. It's a jubilee year when we start to look at the fact that um, when did Abe Lincoln, right, should we say Abe the vampire hunter, when did Abe Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln, um, emancipate, sign the Emancipation Declaration? It was 1863. Now, if you do the math on that and you add 50 years, you have, I think, if I'm correct, you have uh, 19, what was it, 13? I think the next one you have 1913. And then if you add another 50 years, you have 1963, right? Now, now 1963 is very interesting because remember when His Majesty, Adamah, we hired Selassie, the conquer and line the tribe of Judah, the elect of God, the king of kings of Ethiopia, when he visited um, America, right, I think it was a second visit, um, if I'm correct, to America, he, he met with Kennedy. And every president that he met with was very significant. What was very significant, really, is not just his meeting, but what the pr respective president said. Dwight Eisenhower, he would come out and speak about the military-industrial complex, and they kind of they kind of suppressed that until like around 9-11. Most folks got to see it for the first time, and some people who were old enough, they probably were seeing it again and really getting to understand what um, the outgoing president was trying to state in that message and warning. And I have a lot of high um, regard for um, Eisenhower as a, as a Christian, like as, a, as a real Christian, you know, um, you know, a white man, but a real Christian. And, and that's and that's real when you're on, you know, when you're a child of his majesty, then you start to look at it. You, you don't, you don't um, um, look after anyone after the flesh. Like, you don't judge no man after the flesh, you know, but it's after the spirit. You know, and you can perceive those levels that a lot of other folks who are still under Satan's kind of mind games and schemes and divide and conquer and, and mind control and compartmentalization. But um, it was 19, it was 1863, and then, then we have 100 years later, His Majesty gathering the nations as we put together in a two-part um, Ethiopia, United Nations, and like Line of Judah um, prophecy. Where His Majesty in the, in the second part is the ultimate challenge part of the speech that he gave before the United Nations. 
Now, a lot of people would dismiss the United Nations, but the United Nations is just an organization, right? If you look at the charter, you know, the basic, yes, there's many people um, who, even from such a time, desired to use it in the way that they are now able to use it, but they were not able to use it in that way during the time of his imperial